Well, I think this is just a, a fantastic time to recognize this there is game changing going on. And what is really quite interesting is the marketplace, not the healthcare marketplace. We're, we're, we're going through this with the ACOs and bundled payments and, and things of that nature. But the outside marketplace is paying attention. And there are a, a lot more non-health people who are beginning to do this. So, um, so let me just give you a few examples in the course of it. So um, many of you probably know that there are increasingly our senior coordinators in housing projects. Um, HUD, uh, which is the government agency that runs many of these uh, senior housing projects, used to never allow, quote, services in, in their program. And so that if somebody got frail, um, they had to leave their that building and go somewhere else. So now there are service coordinators to help people stay in place uh, and mitigate their frailty. Uh, and so uh, the uh, CMS has actually uh, invested in this Vermont project to show some, um, to replicate the work that they did to show that having a housing coordinator that is informed about some of the evidence-based practices on falls prevention, um, activity, and nutrition um, actually mitigated uh, a lot of re readmissions in the course of it. So it, it was highly successful in the course of a one-year study they did, and they're doing it with all of Vermont right now but it doesn't engage professional people. It may use them as consultants at the very beginning, but they basically do it um, with non-healthcare um, people, and they also get the, the residents themselves to be engaged in this. And they are uh, able to do this and, and not necessarily you know, rely on the licensed professional to, to do this kind of care.